Right now, there are 116 inmates on death row. 14 of them have exhausted all of their appeals. But before the state resumes, some critics are now saying that there needs to be some more safeguards in place to avoid another botched execution like the one we saw just a few years ago. Everybody's more worried about, did he suffer? Who really suffered was my dad and my sister when they were killed. Some called it justice. Others, cruel. We know from that execution uh, that something went wrong. I counted about 660 times these sort of gas. Arizona halted executions after it botched the 2014 lethal injection of Joseph Wood, who received more than a dozen doses of a two-drug combination over a two-hour period. But now that Attorney General Mark Burnovich wants to resume executions, federal public defender Dale Bache says the state should be more open with the public in the future. The people have a right to know uh, how that punishment is, is being carried out. So, for instance, uh, it's important to know uh, that the drugs that are being used to carry out the executions come from a legitimate uh, uh, source, that the drugs are safe uh, and will be effective. There are still questions surrounding the execution of Wood, who was convicted of killing his ex-girlfriend in 1989. But the state has provided few details. So going forward, uh, I think it's important that uh, the source uh, of the drug uh, be made available, uh, the cost of the drug uh, be made available, and that the qualifications of the people carrying out uh, the execution should be disclosed. Uh, after all, public money is being spent uh, to carry out an execution. I should also note that there is an ongoing federal lawsuit that could force the state to provide more details on that wood execution. In the newsroom, Dennis Welch for Arizona's family.